is Suzanne. So I'm just going to essentially give you a hint of more the time frame that I'm thinking of as, as far as getting into the pose as forward fold or um, and then staying in the pose, right? So one, grounding. And I want you to really think about your body in this, Suzanne. So you are a mighty Capricorn, uh, which is an earth sign, which means you definitely are rooted in a firm foundation. And so that's something I want you to think about within your body. That is why you're very strong. And then inhale, I'm coming up again here, and I'm just warming up my neck. And um, as I exhale, dropping my chin down first and then rounding my shoulders. And you know what? There's tension. I feel tension in this pose. And I'm still almost upright. So I'm going to just stay here for a little bit. I adjust my feet so I have more control around in my knee area. So I am stimulating around my knees because I'm engaging uh, more muscles in my legs, adductors, perineals, uh, glutes are engaged here just because I'm looking for a firm foundation. Big toes pressing down. And that tension's relieved. So I'm going to come back up again. And exhale, chin's coming down. And then you know what, here is a lot of tension as well. And I, I'm still almost fully erect. So the only thing I'm trying to convey is take longer to get into the full forwarding fold pose because what I'm noticing is it's very tight in your upper back, uh, very tight in that upper back area where you don't have a lot of control over it and that is causing stress uh, in that lower back area and it's all pulling up really so to speak so we're gonna just try and work into that we're not gonna attack hamstrings so much as making sure the spine is long and now once I get to a place where I am starting to fold, again, firm foundation. Every exhale, I restabilize, making sure that my weight can be handled as I fold forward. Mm -hmm. You are earth and firmly grounded. And then there's tension here still in my back. I have yet to transfer any tension into my hamstrings. So that's what I'm looking for for you, Suzanne. We're going to try to stretch at the hip a little bit higher. And so we're working from the top of the neck down, relieving tension. And I've just now transferred uh, some uh, tension into pulling at my hamstrings here, but I'm still getting that elongation of my spine. Don't 
don't be afraid of things like twitches and reactions body reactions don't try to suppress things that might happen because of being in the pose in a different way just try to breathe and remember you are earth you are firmly rooted move on in my practice but that was in my flow today now I'm to show you that 